Now, the city of Nairobi is one with a number of probabilities constantly building before generation of brilliance and uncertain future at the same time. For generations, Nairobi City has been a symbol of business and opportunity. And this is what it means to thousands of the members of the business community in this country. It is a community found anywhere, from the central business district to the castaways. And no doubt that Moduro Market is when such a busy place. It is an outstanding market. People not only sell goods, this market is also a distribution point with advantage locality to other markets located away from the city center. At the heart of this busy life, a special group of persons help traders make a formidable move with their goods to and from Mudurwa. The strong men of Mudurwa market are different kind of persons. Now I'm in Muduro Market to tell you a story of very ordinary Kenyans, but these are people with extraordinary abilities. Today, we get to look at this story in a different perspective. We want to be part of it, and in this hour we will take you inside the strong men of the Muduro Market. It's few minutes to noon. Transporters have just offloaded these huge sacks of potatoes from central Kenya. A single sack can be as heavy as 300 kilograms. Now these sacks will have to be transported by human carriers from this point to kilometers away from Mudurwa market. And this is no expensive joke. Kazi nanzaga sakumi na moja asubui. Paka labda sa saba sa nane Toko na memaliza ama sa Sa ingine na heza mkua na ngojea Paka jioni sa kumina bili Kuipata ni shida Ni meitafuta na shida Paka vita Kulikuwa na watu wa mungike Kupigana nao Paka mapanga Unaligana na mzigo, unanagunia kama hii. Juhu huyo mtu wanaenda kuhuza na mutisa wa mzina. Sio mtu mmoja unasana sana. Lakini kunia viazi, unaitisa mjabili, unaona. Kwa hivyo tu. Juhu hata hea anaenda kutafuta kitu. I would like to be part of this endeavor. But before I just thump, I ask one of the carriers to show me the way. This is over 250 kilograms. He carries it. I want to try this, but fear engulfed me. I have never carried anything above 50 kilograms. This time, I want to try a sack of around 100 kilograms. <laughs> this could have been fatal if no one came to my rescue. <laughs> A number of young men have embraced the use of carts to carry goods. This makes work easier, I can attest. This life is not easy but it is a better option. Now, two weeks ago, the government of Kenya released a report that at least it had secured over 700,000 jobs to the members of this country. At least 625,000 of those jobs had been secured in the informal sector. In the formal sector, at least the government had secured over 116,000 jobs, while in the public sector, the government secured at least 26,000 
jobs for the members of this country. But still, there is a huge problem when it comes to unemployment since over 46% of the Kenyans still live below the poverty line. From my experience, my name is Obarmak.